funny as a rider. Saddle like and find it. No sympathy. Ain't nothing for free. Funny as a rider. Saddle like and find it. No sympathy. Hello everyone. Now I'll show you how I structure the network, and you can follow along to create something similar. You probably end up creating a slightly different version of it because all the、uh, nodes and parameters and values inside, and also the audio file you put, will impact the aud-、uh, visual part. If it's slightly different,、uh, it will generate very different result. I think that's also the beauty of it, and you can create your own style.、And、if you do need this exact project file, you can also download in my Patreon. And without further ado, let's jump in. Let's start with the audio part. For the song, since it's quite、um, kick and snare focus, I mainly use the kick and snare to drive the visuals. I also use the low to drive the LFO, which I will use it to. Drive the、uh, how to say position of the sphere, which I will talk about later. But the main thing I'm using is the kick and snare、uh, detection to drive the visuals. Okay, for the main visual part,、uh, I'm basically rendering a、um, 3D combination of the rectangular line and a sphere. So, for example, the rectangular, I connect both of them to a noise, so it creates like the more interesting、um, dynamics. And then I connect the rectangular to a while because I only want the outline of it. And then connect both of them to transform because you might want to change the transform or yeah, translate scale, etc. So it's good to have this one and then、uh, to now. Mm, for good practice, and then connect to、uh, geometry. And for the geometry, I also rotate,、uh, add a rotation to it, so you see it's moving more, again more dynamic. And then for the render here, I use the two lights with different colors, and、um, so you see the blueish、uh, purple color. And then this is the rendering. You need a camera, and then you add a constant to set the resolution for the render. Now you chop it here, and then it's our feedback loop. For the feedback loop here, you see the before and after.、Um, the feedback loop here, we have、uh, at first the feedback, and then the transform, and then the level, and then SHV adjustment. This one give you. Variety of colors to work with. You can add or not add. If you feel like the visual is too intense, you can just simply pass it. Then also add to mass and to limit. You can change the parameters inside to get different results. And I combine them together using、um, over. Now this color doesn't look nice, and we then、um, I don't know why add to a transform.、Um, let's remove this one. We can add a now. Okay. And then we add a lookup to change the color of it. Of course, this one you can.、Uh, we'll just put this one aside. You can simply change to another color, so you will already have like yeah, very different colors. But、uh, what I found out、um, is good to use two lookups to change the color. So、uh, especially for this mono kind of、uh, effects. So I use two of them. Uh, this is the first lookup, and this is the second lookup. So this is、um, the color I got. And since this is kick snare、uh, focus, I also added to a switch, switching between these two colors. And、uh, let me、uh, actually close this one. It's kind of confusing now. So you can see whenever there is a yeah kick and snare, and then you see the shift in colors. In the end, I add to a level in case you want to change anything, and that's the whole network. It's quite simple. And for the audio reactivity part,、um, I think I add a few more. For the audio reactivity part, I add, for example, I'm using the LFO to drive the、uh, the position of the sphere, and also the seed of the noise, and then what else? Yeah, I think that's. Basically, it. Hope you find it useful and excited to see what you've been creating, and see you next time.